Welcome back to our ongoing journey of mastering IUPAC nomenclature. Today, on day 7, we're delving deeper into the naming of complex organic structures. We'll also dedicate some time to extensive practice so that you can solidify your skills. Let's get started. Before we dive into the new material, let's recap the key concepts we've covered in our previous classes. We've explored alkanes, alkanes, alkynes, functional groups, cyclic and heterocyclic compounds, and more. These fundamentals are crucial as we venture into more complex nomenclature, scene script. Complex organic compounds often have multiple substituents, making the naming process more intricate. Here's how you approach it. Let's practice naming a compound with multiple substituents, 4,5-dichloro-3-ethylhepton-2-ol. What's its IUPAC name? Bridged and fused ring compounds pose their own set of challenges. When naming them, let's name one, one, by cyclohexyl, which has a bridged ring structure. Can you provide its IUPAC name? Now, it's time for extensive practice to reinforce your nomenclature skills. We'll tackle complex structures, and I encourage you to challenge yourself with various examples. Practice naming the following compounds. 2, 2, 4, 4, tetramethyl, 3 pentanone, 3 ethyl 1, 2 dimethyl cyclohexane, 6 nitro 2, 5 diphenylhexanoic acid, 1, 3 dithyl cyclohex 1 ene. When working with complex structures, common challenges include determining the longest carbon chain, correctly numbering carbon atoms, and using the right prefixes and suffixes. These challenges can be overcome with practice and attention to detail. Great work today! You've expanded your expertise in IUPAC nomenclature by addressing complex structures with multiple substituents and bridged fused ring compounds. Keep practicing, stay curious, and continue to refine your skills. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our chemistry lessons. We value your feedback, so don't hesitate to leave any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in the comments below. Your dedication to mastering IUPAC nomenclature is commendable, and we'll see you in the next class for further exploration of the incredible world of chemistry. Happy naming hash UPAC nomenclature hash complex structures hash chemistry tutorial hash organic chemistry hash chemistry education.